into the individual consciousness, you return into a separate entity, a sense of separation. It's never separated, it's always the ocean. Ocean is always the ocean, no matter how many waves ar ar arise, arise and fall back, all of it is the ocean. So you may see these huge giant waves and they look very scary, but this, the source of it is the same ocean that as you. None of it is different than the other. It just appears to be big and mean and bad. It looks like it, but it's the same as yourself. There's no separation between you and anything else in this existence. All of them, their essence is the same. All of them, the power house is the same power place, power house. Their source is the same source. So in other words, when you start to realize that, there is no boogeyman. There is no, let's say the terrorists, let's say the Illuminati, let's say evil government, evil corporation, uh, the communists, the Nazis, the aliens, there is no them. They're all you. It's all yourself. And as you're, ex you remember in the beginning I said your mind starts to expand. You start to awaken to the truth of who you are. So this self-awakening mechanism, it begins to trigger. It it awakens. So, everything is consciousness, but it's consciousness in a sleepy way or consciousness is an awakened way, but it's the same consciousness. So, it starts to wake up and as it's waking up, as it's becoming self-aware of itself, it begins to do self-observation. It begins to do self-observation. Now, in this self-awakening, mechanism, this is, starts to happen, which has already happened to you, otherwise you wouldn't be here and you wouldn't be listening to me, is something has triggered inside you, a lot of times has to do with some sort of trauma, some sort of strong calling, some kind of discomfort, some kind of disagreement with life or the world or your parents or your culture or the government or the way things are. So the self-awakening mechanism is triggered and we begin to wake up. And the wake up, waking up is like, wait a minute, why am I doing the same things as everybody else does? And I'm just going to use this part. I mean, but don't take me wrong. I don't want you to come back and attack me and tell me if I'm against marriage or I'm against having children. I, I don't have anything against any of it because I don't care, but I'm using it as an example because it's a great example of being a robot of that everybody general idea of the world is people think okay i need to i'm growing up then i'm going to get married and i'm going to have kids 
and and I don't even know why I'm doing it because everybody else is doing it that's what everyone do and this is the way it is and blah 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 when this self-awakening mechanism starts to kick in you begin to become aware and some of you will not cho you choose not to go that path because it's like wait a minute you stop at your tracks at one point is like why why do i need to do this why do i need to get married and have kids because everybody else is doing it wait a minute i don't want to do that this is not something i want just because the the path is laid uh, laid out in front of me and everyone else is doing it i don't want to do that so i'm using this again as an example this is again i'm not anti marriages or anti uh having children i'm just bringing this for us to use it as an example that's all it is so the self awakening mechanism starts to get activated and you begin to look and become aware of certain patterns that your parents been doing your culture has been implementing on you and you've been doing it yourself then you also if you go deeper you begin to especially if something has happened in your childhood and it's created some sort of suffering for you now you start to look at yourself you begin you begin look at your own behavior which is a very good place to arrive to because a lot of people do a lot of spiritual work they do shamanism they do third eye activation they they're expanding they're doing healing work but they're not looking at themselves they're still looking outside at the other world but not looking within not looking at our own some screwed up behavior or pattern or the way we think or I've encountered a lot of people do shamanism they they're great shamans they're great psychics they're great healers but emotionally they're a mess they get very angry very quickly they get very jealous they get uh all kinds of stuff is because they're not they haven't put any time looking at their own behaviors their own emotions how they get triggered how they react how they get really frightened how they they go into the world of anxiety or fear so when it comes to self awakening and mastery we need to go through these different levels this different stages of first awakening to a dream awakening to a pattern that is already predisposed for us and it seems like we don't have a choice and we're just following this path that for thousands of years our ancestors have going through and we're just doing it without any kind of self awareness so a you become aware of that and you say you know what this is screwed up and i don't want to do what they've been doing and i don't want to do what everybody else does 